okay, so I've got my timeline set up. I've got my files dropped onto the timeline. I have my audio waveform view turned on. Depending on your editor, you may be able to turn it on or turn it off. Uh, I find that when I'm working with the video, it's, it's faster if it is turned off, unless I specifically need to sync up the audio or do some audio editing. Uh, but for now, we're trying to sync up our videos, and if I start this playback, you'll see that it's completely out of sync right now. Sync for the I've got the head one, stuck down two, here. Three, one, two, I'm using my new three. Sony uh, 750D recorder. Hey folks, uh, I'm getting set up. Got... Okay, the first step in syncing up our audio with our video is to zoom into our timeline so that we can see the little spikies on the audio t on the audio timeline. Now, one thing that I do whenever I'm using multiple cameras as well as my additional audio recorder is I make some loud sounds like a uh, a hand clap or the opening and closing of my visor to make sure that I can sync up to those little spikes. I also try to do something visual in front of the camera whenever possible. For the contour cam, since it's on the side of my helmet and the audio recorder is inside my helmet, simply op opening and closing my visor a couple of times gives me some very distinctive clicks as well as a visual cue. Now with the VIO on the back of the bike, unless I'm getting on the bike or getting off the bike, to stand behind it and do a visual cue, audio cues are the best I can hope for. So I do try to do that at the beginning and ending of my filming or whenever I get on and off the bike. And those clues will help me sync things up. So let's get started here and, and try to find our specific points on the timeline where I've made those little syncs. Okay, if I try to listen to all of the video and audio playing at once, uh, it's just going to be a mess. I'm not going to be able to tell what's happening or when on, on which particular track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all the tracks except for my contour cam. I'm going to scroll through, make sure I've got my selection tool active. I'm going to scroll through until I find the point where I actually do a helmet sync where I open and close my visor and that should be up here somewhere and if you notice in the VIO cam I just did a hand clap sync right there but we'll come back to that and that that corresponds to this little spike here but we'll come back to that one timeline at, at, at a time so right in here yep that's where it is that's where I'm opening and closing my helmet. And I usually do it twice. Here, here's the actual sequence played back for you. Audio, video sync, one, two, three. And what I'll try to do here is find this very last one. If you listen closely, there are some very specific sounds so at this point, I know where my sync up mark is approximately located. This is my sync right in here. And what I want to do is find where I open and close the visor the second time. And I'm going to try to mark that, that loudest sync, which is just before the helmet finally uh, visor finally closes. And if I go one frame at a time, you can see the action and I think that marks gonna be right here that loudest little click right there is the one I want so what I'm gonna do is put a marker right there uh, whether your particular editor uses markers or not uh, I, I can't tell you if not then you need you need to figure out a way to note that exact position because that's gonna be be very important here when we go back to try to sync everything up so I'm going to select that track, and I'm going to put a marker right there. Okay. That's my first little sync. And if I come over here, ah, there's my hand clap for my VIO. And that, again, is still on the contour track, but I'm going to mark that one as well. Where's the actual loud spot? That's it, right there. And you can see my hands come together. So I've got a visual clue as well as 
an audible clue. And for this one, I'm going I'm to make the, uh, the marker a little different color just so I can tell the difference between the two. Okay, so now I've got those first two marks made. I'm going to mute that one out. Okay, next I'm going to enable the VIO POV audio track and try to find the location of the spikes on it. And my waveform is pretty low on this one. Now, I, I could use an audio editor and uh, increase the dBs or the level of that audio before I bring it into Final Cut, and uh, I'll have a much better uh, view of my waveform. Uh, but that, that's kind of getting, getting a little off topic here. If you do need an audio editor, uh, one that is available for uh, several various types of operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux too, I believe, is Audacity. Uh, it is a very, very good editor, and it is 100% free. But let's go back here and see if we can find these spikes. I think that's going to be my clap right there. Yes. Okay, let me home in, home in on that one. That's it right there. So I'm going to select that track, and I'm going to put my marker there, and I want that one to be blue because that's my hand clap, and that's just something that I'm going to do for myself here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this over, I'm going to slide this whole track down, okay, where did we go here, there we are, slide it down, and there we go. Now that, those two tracks should be relatively well lined up now. Okay, next step is going to be to enable the Sony Voice Recorder audio track. There's no corresponding video track. And try to get it synced up. And I, I can tell that from all these flat bits that probably where my initial sync is is right in here. And let me play that and make sure. Audio video sync, one, two, three. Aha, uh -huh. and there's that second one. Let's see. Ooh. Yep, that's that loudest click right there. So I think that's the one I want. Let me see. I'm going to put a marker there. And then these two really sharp spikes right here. Those should be my hand claps. Let's see. Let's see, that should be the first hand clap right there. Let's play it. Two, three. Yep, that was a hand clap. So let's back up a little bit. Oh, and I think that's it right there. Yep, I think that's my hand clap. So that's my POV sync point. Put a little blue marker right there. All right and let's drag everything down. I'm gonna to have to drag these two to the right because if we look at the entire timeline we'll see that this one's all, all the way to the left already. I generally start my audio recording before I turn my cameras on uh, and that's just me. Um, so I'm gonna select all of those video and audio tracks and I am going to attempt to slide this stuff all the way down here and it kinda of locks in place when I hit it. Whoop, come on. Come on, right there, I think. Or right about there. Oh, sorry. I went one, one too far over. There we go. All right. So we should be fairly well sunk up with all of our audio and video. I'm going to try playing this all back. I'm going to turn everything on. And let's see if we get any of that echoing effect. If so, then we can just nudge things up or down a little bit and tweak it till we find the sweet spot. But let's play this back and see how we're doing. Audio video sync, one, two, three. Sync for the vio. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I've got one of them off and I see what it is. I marked the second clap on this one and the first clap on these two. So, so my, my VIO POV is just a little bit off here. No problem. Find that, find that first clap. And that's it right there. Put another marker right there. And 
And let me slide this one down just a touch. There we go. Now we should be in sync. Okay. Yeah, everything lines up really nice here. Let's see. Audio video sync. One, two, three. Sync for the VAIO. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey folks, uh, I'm getting set up here to do a dual video with external audio um, test run. And uh, this is going to be for my series on showing you guys how I sync up my videos. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Still get a little bit of that almost a slight echoey effect, but I think that's about as close as we're going to get it. 